everything to the best of my ability. Cause I'm not, I'm not a Picasso fan girl. I'm not, <laughs> not on that level of being of an artist. So bear with me. <laughs> Review and I'm going to be reviewing the 140 piece deluxe drawing set by Artists Loft and I'm not sponsored by them but I thought it would be helpful to do a review because then people if they want to buy it for like a Christmas gift since the Christmas is coming up I think it'll be a good idea well based on my review <laughs> Because I'm going to do a really honest review, I'm not going to just like, oh, just like, oh, go buy it. And then, you know, I'd rather you like, oh, this is actually really good. But I'm going to test the, because it comes with markers and it comes with colored pencils. And it says eight sketching pencils, six charcoal pencils, four wickers, four blending stubs, three compressed charcoal sticks, two graphite sticks, one, two whole metal sharpener, one vinyl eraser, one kneaded eraser, one sanding block, one pencil pouch, one drawing pad, one booklet, one wooden box, one mannequin. I'm like thinking this is drawing pad one booklet actually mine's I didn't get one with it didn't come with the like the drawing pad because in the picture I'll play I'll place the picture right here it it has one but mine's didn't have that so but I I didn't buy this so I'm not feeling like, oh my god, I just bought this and they didn't give me <laughs> a missing one or an important piece. But I'll, I could show you, you could look at the picture. And I'll just show you all the other pieces because there's a lot of pieces that come in this case. And I'll got this. It's like kind of heavy. This is the case right here. And I'm going to test out everything to the best of my ability because I'm not I'm not a Picasso fan girl I'm not, <laughs> not on that level of being of an artist so bear with me and open this this you can place let me grab the sketchbook and have you can place your sketchbook here I think it'll be easy to draw because you have this and this is really solid and it doesn't slip which is really good especially if your spot who likes <laughs> whatever you're drawing on to be like this I don't know why but for me I feel like either way I could do like this or like if it's like flat on the table whatever I'm drawing on okay let's try let's pull out there's like different compartments in here there's this one these are the color pencils as you can see it has a good variety of colors and I don't know why this is one of my favorite things in here <laughs> it's a little I call it like a mannequin, but it's probably not called a mannequin. But you just go like this and you pop it in. I think it's already in. Then you make it do a pose. Let's see if I can make it do like a natural pose. I don't know. I think. <laughs> doing a pose for the the gram. <laughs> I 
this back here. But I think this is really helpful because for somebody who's not good at drawing like full body, you can see like the shapes and like if you get it to do different poses. I feel like this is really helpful. This is the the eraser. The kneaded eraser. And then I think this is a smaller, a smaller one. And this is the sharpener. I like this. It's like really small and cute. I wonder if it's like breakable though. Because it is really small and it looks like it's made out of plastic. I'm trying to get these pencils out of here. This one's soft. One. Medium, hard, soft, medium. So you get like two of each. Can't wait to show you guys how this works. I'll show you after I show you what comes in the case. Oh no, it does not want to be put in there. I move this a little bit. Let me do the bottom one. This is the. Second one. There's three different ones. Uh, this is the pastels. I think drawing the pastels would be fun. I haven't tried doing it on like white paper. Maybe like since I was a kid. I gotta get bring up the. I bring up because I'm like <laughs> some of the stuff I'm like oh I don't know what this is <laughs> as you can see I'm a beginner so hmm maybe you guys could tell me what this is if anybody is familiar with what this is for <laughs> maybe when I find out what this is for I'll probably actually use it So you get more color pencils, which I like. I like color pencils. Some color pencils. Technical difficulties here. Putting this back in here. Put it at the. Oh, this one goes in the bottom. The bottom drawer. Now this one. Should have showed you guys this first because it has the little booklet. It says Otter Sloth, Drawing Tips and Techniques. And the color wheel, preparation, the effects, value in making, shading effects, drawing still life flowers and step-by-step -step instructions. As for like beginner like me, oh, these look really pretty. I wonder if I could recreate this. <laughs> I'll put this here. So these are the markers. It's I like it. It's like the same colors of like the same as the color pencils. <clears throat> and I thought these are pretty cool because it reminds me of the like the pencils that they have on I use Procreate but I use this one the HB pencil for like the sketching so I think that's cool I haven't used any of these other ones but I feel like 
I could use them too because they're all sketching pencils. And this, this is really tiny. I mean, like, what is this? It's a little pouch. It's fairly small. I guess it's like if you take your favorite ones on the go and you don't want to take a big thing, you just take this one. I think that comes in handy. I'm going to use the HB sketching pencil. I think I'm going to draw him here. Oh wow. This pencil is actually like It's just, it's really good. I think, because I don't, I haven't used like an actual sketching pencil, I just used regular pencils for drawing before, that like, you feel the difference. Like I didn't have to pre draw really hard, because with pencils you gotta really have a lot of pressure. Uh... <laughs> I don't know why he draw his feet like that. Let's see. And... Do this one. I wonder if I should just sketch everything first. I think I'll I think I might do that. Let me sketch. I don't know if this this brown right here like these markers because on the color pencils it says a set of them says watercolor and the other set just don't say anything so I'm assume but I could be wrong I think they're like regular color pencils but I'm gonna use the markers and the color pencils like blend you know mix use both of them on each drawing I drew this one's like a light brown so let me see I don't know how it's gonna do. Let's see. If I do this one first, because I haven't tested out these colors, so. Hmm. Okay. Well, let me see. If I look on that side, I don't see anything. So, at least it's not bleeding through. Let's just go like. Oh, it's like really dark when I colored it in. It's so weird. It's kind of clumping together. Look at it. Like threads of the marker. Not bleeding, but like clumping together. I should want my instinct of not coloring with it. Let's see. I feel like the markers would be so good with tracing, but not like, like tracing over your, your sketch, but not for coloring. Like I just did that's Oogle, oogle. The color pencils. I almost had to make sure I didn't grab the the um the regular color pencils. I'm sure they'll do good because regular color pencils are good, but I I think the watercolors more pigmented than the color pencils, the regular color pencils. Kind of want to use the red brown pencil. Let's see. Red brown, let's see if it's gonna. Whoa, I kind of can see what it did over my sketch I did. I think I want to draw a little fuzzies over this, see if it goes on top of this watercolor good. Sorry, I keep shaking the camera.
Well, I think that looks so much better. But I kind of want to color. But if I color that, it'll just... <laughs> it looks kind of funny. I think I want to change the red color pencil. Or the... Color it with marker, because it kind of will balance off this picture better. Because his ears are like... Oh my god, this thing is so hard to open. So much better. Oh my god, so much better. So much better. Okay, I got so many different greens here. Which one? Should I do this one? Permanent green. I don't know why, but that sounds so nice. Permanent green. I'm gonna do what I do like for digital drawing. I just will color everything one color. Then when I go do like the next layer, I'll color on top of that with a color. And I'm going to use the the marker to do the tracing since these markers are not good for coloring or I think even a regular eraser could work but I could be wrong um I think I want to use this brown or should I use this brown I think I want to use this one and then go like this do I have a regular red? Yeah, this is regular red. And go like this. Okay, now I'm going to trace the ornaments. Almost forgot to do the star. It's like there's a star up there. Why didn't I do the star? Okay, grab the yellow. This one's kind of like a highlighter yellow compared to the yellow I used to color the star. Let's see how it comes out. Well, I think that kind of gives the effect that it's like sparkling. I kind of want to do the tree with like, I forget the name of the thing that you wrap around the tree and it's like sparkly. Let's see if I can do this with this. It's not doing a good job of it. I wonder if it's giving the illusion that it's sparkling. Let's see. It's kind of giving it, but like a really thin layer of, I think it's a garland. Is that what it's called? I 
I'm gonna do more detail on the tree because it looks like better, I feel like, with more there. Like realistic. Hope you guys get the idea of what I'm trying to do. As you can see, the pastels are really messy. I'm gonna use. I'm actually gonna use the color pencils and the markers to do like the detailing for this because I think the pastel is too messy. But I rate it. A 5 out of 5 because it's doing what pastels are supposed to do. They're messy. It's kind of like, well to me it's kind of like chalk and crown blend mixed together. Like, you know, what it does. It's just really messy. But after I finish this, then you'll, you'll see it and then I'll start the next one. The markers do really well on top of the pastel. But the pastels, there's not really that much of a variety of color. They didn't have like dark green, so I just used light green. But um, I feel like the, cause I use different red and like a golden yellow marker. And they weren't doing what the brown was doing where, or the black where it's like fall, like it's like not bleeding, but like it's tearing. On the paper so I'm glad it didn't do that for that now it's time for me to do the girl hen <laughs> I hope I hope it based on what I learned doing the other pictures coloring those it comes out well I'm choosing this color burnt sienna for her skin but I'm gonna use this like light brown marker first. Do her face. Oh, let's see. I think that looks nice. I'm gonna do her hair. I think it was this color. I'm using this color pencil. So, yeah, well, I picked a good marker color for this. It matches, but not too much. It's like dark enough. This is the finished picture. I can do any highlights because there's nothing in the pack that it and highlight so I feel like that's uh that takes away points from it but overall I would say I rate this a four out of five I hope you liked the video and I feel like there was a lot of well there was good things about the drawing the artist loft drawing set of 140 pieces I just think that the markers were kind of like, you can only use it for one thing. For coloring, I wouldn't recommend, but for doing line art, it looks really good. And I like the color pencils because they can go on top of the pastel. I used it to color on top of the pastel. And the marker, the line art I already did first because I was doing like both techniques, like doing the coloring first, then doing the marker on top, and then doing the marker, then line art, then doing coloring, and it works both ways color pencils. I think they're really, really wonderful. And um, I'd say you could give this to anybody who's a beginner artist. And it only costs $29.99 at Michael's. I think I saw it on Amazon too, but I don't remember how much it was. 
but I feel like it's a really good deal for all that you get. You get 140 pieces. Well, thanks for watching and see you next time. And I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and I'll see you next Friday. <laughs>